The world's first antiviral COVID pill has been approved in the United Kingdom. Drug maker Merck says its pill reduces COVID-19 symptoms and speeds up recovery. Joining us now to speak more about this is infectious diseases physician, Dr. Andrew Morris. Thank you for joining us today, doctor. My pleasure. All right, so tell us more about this antiviral pill that's being called a game changer. Is it a safe and effective treatment for COVID-19? Uh, well, I'd like to think so. That's certainly from the press release. And the fact that it's been approved in the UK is definitely encouraging uh, because I think we can assume that they've looked very carefully at the data to ensure that it's safe and effective. But unfortunately for people like me who had advised other physicians on how to use uh, treatments for COVID, we haven't seen any of the data other than from a press release. So we really don't know at this point. All right. So now can you tell us a little bit more about the the use and how it's going to be given out to people? Should anyone with COVID-19 take this antiviral pill? Or are they saying it's for anybody or only people with severe symptoms? Yeah, so it's an antiviral drug. So it attacks the virus rather than the immune system, which means that it's probably going to be most helpful in people who are caught early. So that's going to be one of the challenges is making sure that we can catch people early. It sounds like it's going to be around $700 for a course of therapy. So it's going to be fairly expensive. That's probably cheaper than monoclonal antibody therapy. So if it's very effective, it, it's likely going to be cost effective as well uh, when you compare it to monoclonal therapy. But $700 is still pretty expensive. And so I think what we're going to want to do is make sure that we identify people who are really at high risk to have severe disease and catch them early. And then they could receive this treatment, which is basically a five day therapy. OK, and Dr. Morris, the United Kingdom, as we mentioned, is the very first to approve the use of the pill. How long do you think until we see it approved here in Canada? And do you have any concerns or worries about this pill? Of course, we don't have it here just yet. And like you said, you've seen the press release just like we have. But yeah, any concerns or worries about the pill? Well, I think from all the information we have so far, uh, the safety seems to be uh, a low concern. Uh, again, I really want to see the scientific evidence behind that. And uh, I would really uh, urge Merck to um, provide that to the scientific community in terms of how quickly we're going to find more of that information and to hear if it, if it will be approved. That's going to come from Health Canada. Uh, they have received all the documents that I believe they need. And so I anticipate we'd hear uh, from them in the coming days to weeks. Um, I'm hopeful. I'm definitely very hopeful. I think this is likely to be uh, a beneficial drug. I think that certainly the devil's going to be in the details, but I think we, we're going to have a real challenge in making sure that we can identify high-risk people early on in disease to get them because that, that's, that's really hard to do, practically speaking, um, and, and the cost will be prohibitive, so we won't be able to give it out to everyone. Right, and are there any concerns from those in the medical field that you know, people may see this pill as a magical cure for COVID and will just let their guard down? I hope not. Uh, you know, I think we saw some of that with the monoclonal antibody therapies, uh, especially in the U.S., uh, where people uh, did think that it was going to absolutely save their lives. All these treatments at the moment appear to be in relatively short supply when they do become available. And n no treatment is a slam dunk. So, uh, you know, the best way to prevent illness, disease, disability and death from uh, COVID is going to be uh, getting vaccinated. And I think I'd encourage everyone to uh, really uh, consider getting vaccinated if you haven't been, uh, rather than relying on some of these therapies, which will probably reduce your likelihood of getting ill, but it, it's not going to be a, a, a total change. Thank you so much for your insight, Dr. Morris. We appreciate your time today. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. That's infectious diseases physician, Dr. Andrew Morris.